this young rhino calf roams free at least for now until his horn develops he is likely to be safe but his mother is cautious in her lifetime she has witnessed great human greed The Jaldapara National Park in West Bengal is one of the most biodiverse areas in India. And the greater one-horned rhinoceros is the star attraction of the park. But this was not always the case. There was a time when the park's rhino population was on the verge of extinction. The decline in the rhino population in North Bengal was brought on by royal hunting till the 1920s. Soon after, poachers took over. The demand for rhino horns in the black market and Jaldapara's proximity to international borders made the rhinos here an easy target. So much so that in 1985 their numbers dropped to only 14 Control to Rhino 6 Control to Kochubari Tower This was a wake up call for the park management They realized the importance of beefing up protection infrastructure within the park. Forest staff was given firearms and walkie-talkies. They regularly patrolled the forest on foot, in vehicles and on elephants. extensive road networks fire lines patrolling paths watchtowers and patrolling camps were constructed additionally the habitat was made more suitable for rhinos by creating fodder plantations building salt licks and wallow pools eradicating weeds and preventing trees from invading grasslands The number of rhinos gradually started to increase. As tourists followed, people from adjoining villages were able to earn additional income and pledged their support for the pachyderms. According to the official census in 2022 there were 292 rhinos in Jaldapara The resurrection of Jaldapara's rhino population though an exemplary success story has led to a complex scenario one that has created a new reality Today, Jaldapara has one of the densest populations of large herbivores in India. In the past few decades, with the absence of natural corridors, many wild elephants have been restricted to largely spend time within the park's boundaries. Additionally, it has more than 80 captive elephants for patrolling and tourism.
The gore population in the park has also gone up in the past few decades. The increasing population of herbivores may eventually put undue pressure on the limited resources of the park. The proliferation of weeds, encouraged by monoculture plantations from the past, may soon lead to inadequate cover of grass for the rhinos to graze on. Dedicated efforts need to be taken once again to maintain the rhino population. Initiatives by the Forest Department are already underway to create natural corridors for the gentle giants to move freely. Linking fragmented forests in the Terai and Doars region, managing park resources, and restoring the degraded habitat is perhaps the only solution to safeguard the rhinos of Jaldapara.